All right, y'all, Carson Jennick here. Um, about to do a review of Bad Fish. Uh, got a bunch of samples in. I told y'all I was going to do a full review, so that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm going to do them, um, you know, with my uh, RDA. Uh, I've got some in the tank, and then I'm going to put some more in another one. Um, of course, I've dripped all these also, um, but I do like to use a tank. I almost like using a tank better than um, RDAs at times because I'm on the go a lot. Um, I mainly drip when I'm at home. So, uh, first thing I'm going to start with is going to be, and I just had it in front of me, is California Dream. Um, I don't know if any of y'all have ever been to Atlanta, to the Varsity. There, they have a drink. It's an orange drink, and they're known for it. It's got a um, it's, but the way this tastes, I just put a little bit on. Um, this is similar to a orange creamsicle to me. Real good, sweet. It's a, it is really sweet. It's a sweet. It's a sweet orange. Um, but if you ever had an orange creamsicle. Uh, that's what it reminds me of, but more so for the Atlanta people, it reminds me of that um, orange drink at uh, the Varsity. On inhale, you get, um, imagine taking a bite of an orange and just putting a little bit, not much at all, not like you do a grapefruit, putting a little bit of sugar on the orange. Um, to me, that's what it tastes like. I don't know if you ever had a glass of tea and the sugar didn't like break down all the way and you get a little you you can taste the sugar in your mouth and it's not a bad taste so don't don't take this the wrong way when I say it but it's like the sugar didn't it's like the sugar didn't melt and it combines with that orange and it it is off the chain that's California dream um, I rate it um, rate that an eight out of ten uh, this is, uh, again, Bad Fish uh, e-liquid by Jack Moss uh, and Blue Well Vapor. All right. <clears throat> Next one we got up is Blueberry Cobbler. Um, now, I'm not a big fan of blueberries, um, but this this is a very doable vape. Um, it's got the sweetness of um, a blueberry pie with... Um, Uh, the taste is, you know, you get the blueberry taste, and then on the exhale, you get the, uh, the sweet taste of the crust of a piece of blueberry pie. Like I said, I, I haven't had too many blueberry vapes, so I don't have a lot to compare this to. But, if I want it, or I was given it, it's not something I'd say I wouldn't vape. You know, that's definitely not it. I'm just, like I said, I'm not a big fan of blueberry, so, and I don't have a lot to compare it to. It does have a it does have a <clears throat> sweet taste to it though. Um, and again, when I say sweet, I'll tell you off. I think something's too sweet. This isn't too sweet. I think the way I can describe this a little bit better, instead of um, it's like a piece of blueberry candy, to me. It's like a piece of blueberry hard candy. And it's got that sweet taste at the um at the end on the exhale. Uh, like I said, it's a good vape. All right, next one we have up is Mama's Latte. Um, now, usually when I vape, I vape three. Um, I've got samples, which are zero, which is fine. Um, but this, you know, and I say that because, like, I ordered um, 120 milliliters of the um, key lime, and I ordered that in a three. Um, I ordered Breakfast Crunch in three. Um but I ordered the Mollins Latte in a six. Um, I like my coffee vapes like I like my coffee. Strong. So, we got it in my little iSub. And again, that's a good vape too. If only I had the um, 
setting on this, right? I wouldn't have just got the worst fucking dry head I've ever had in my life. Uh, because this uh, tank is meant to go between 25 and 35. Um, and I just had to set it at about 50. So, you know, it's like touching a hot stove. You learn. You won't do it but once. Well, once a day. Again, it's a, a good, good cup of coffee. It's like, it's like a cup of coffee, man. Um, um, with a, you know, you know, with a couple spoons of sugar in it. Yeah. You know, I keep saying, mentioning sugar. I don't, again, think any of these are overly sweet. And I hate it when people say, oh, it's got a sweet taste to it. Because a lot of people are thrown off by that. That's not what I mean. Um, <clears throat> usually if this tank is filled in the mornings, I've been dropping this tank, you know, on my mod because I vape this with my coffee, believe it or not. Coffee and coffee. You can't beat it. It's like, imagine not so much of a dark, a dark cup of coffee, but a medium, a medium light cup of coffee with sugar in it. And that's what you get right here. And it's freaking awesome. Again, mama's latte. Next up, key lime pie. Um... Or, should I say, key lime pie. Um, I love key lime pie vapes. I think all y'all know that. Um, this, I mean, this just tastes awesome, man. I mean, it, um, it's got everything I look for in a key lime vape. It's uh, got some pop to it. Um, it smells good. Um, you smell the um, citrus when you open the bottle. Um if you're looking to smell a key lime pie when you open that bottle, that's not what you're going to get. But the uh, taste, like I said, is right on point with it. On inhale, you get that sweet um, bite of key lime pie with the right amount of uh, pop or tart, that I like to say. And then on the exhale, you've got that good crust. Um, the crust isn't as noticeable on it that I, as I'd like. But then again, that's just me. And like I said, I'm a snob when it comes to key lime pie vapes. But it's definitely a very, very, very good vape. Otherwise, I wouldn't have ordered 120 milliliters of it. Again, key lime pie. Fucking awesome. Did a good job on that one, Jack. All right. Next up, we have strawberry custard. Um, a lot of strawberry vapes out there now. Um. You either like strawberry or you don't. Um, it's usually not an in between, and I used to be that way. I used to just no, I don't, I don't like strawberry vapes, but that's changed. Um, the smell of this, just like a when you open a pack of strawberries, at, um, Wally World or whatnot. Um, and, and it's great. It's like a a piece of strawberry shortcake. You get the good, you know, you can taste the, uh, taste the strawberries really well. The, um, you know, like I said, like your mom used to make strawberry shortcakes, round little things with the strawberry, you know, drizzle on top. That's what this tastes like. Um, I'm slowly starting to, um, come over to the strawberry side of the field. No pun intended. Wow, that just sounded gayer than hell saying that. Again, a very good vape. Alright, next one we got up. It is going to be Lemon Berry Limeade. Um, I didn't know what to expect from this one at first. Uh, it, uh, on the smell, you smell citrus. Um, you've got, you, got, you know, you've got lemon and lime combined here, so I'm really not sure what I'm smelling when I open it, but it smells very good. Um, put a little on here. Best way for me to describe this is lemon, lime, and uh, the berry to me is a kind of a Kind of a cherryish, I guess. I could be off with it, but it's 
it, 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 that's a very, very good vape. Um, I, you know, I usually don't like, um, berry, like, like I said, berry vapes, like strawberry. I'm, I'm usually not a fan of this, but here again, I'm not complaining because it's very good. All right, then we have a breakfast crunch. It's like Captain Crunch. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch. I love cereal vapes. Y'all know that. This is awesome. I mean, this is Captain Crunch. Um, and then imagine you took a spoonful of cinnamon and sprinkled that on top of it. It's awesome. I mean, and if you've seen the vapor production that I've been getting from all these, you know this is a, a competition line. I mean, its vapor production is off the chain on this also. You know, with the Captain Crunch, excuse me, the... the uh, the breakfast crunch, it's like a bowl of Captain Crunch and a little bit of milk at the end, man. It's awesome. So again, um, you know, that's what you have from Bad Fish. Breakfast crunch, 10 out of 10. Key lime pie, 9 out of 10. Lemon berry limeade. California Dream, nine. Mama's Latte, eight. Blueberry Cobbler, just because I'm not a blueberry vape, you know, seven. It's a good, but it's still a good, it's, a, it's still a good vape. If you like Blueberry Cobbler, then maybe you know what to look for a little bit better than I do with this one. And... Strawberry custard, eight out of ten. You know this whole line that Jack Moss has uh, been working on, and all that is off the chain. Uh, go to www.badfisheliquid.com. Um, you can see all his stuff there. Um, you know, shoot him a message on Facebook. I know he's on there. Tell him Mike Jones sent you. Uh, that's actually, um, well, just tell him Carson sent you. Um, I actually got hooked up through a. Uh, you know, with Jack through my brother, uh, Mike, but, um, you know, anyway, just, you know, it is what it is, man, you know, it's a very good way, you know, get to it, uh, show this man some support, vape on, vape strong, and vape long.